So I'm a little behind on my collection update videos, but we're going to go ahead and get caught up here today. I have quite a few titles to go over with you guys today. We're going to get started right after this. Welcome back to Pops Movie Dungeon. Hey, how's it going everybody? Welcome back to Pops Movie Dungeon. Thank y'all so much for clicking on the video. So it has been a hot minute since I've done a collection update video. Um, I'm a little behind. I have quite a few titles to go over with you guys today. I really appreciate you guys um, being here. If this is your first time here, uh, please consider subscribing to the channel. We do anything physical media here. We talk movies, do reviews, unboxings, um, a lot of fun live streams. So if, um, if you guys are into that kind of stuff, I really would appreciate you guys subscribing, hitting that like button. It really helps me out. If you guys have been here before, like I always say, I really appreciate your support. Thank y'all for coming back. So we're going to go ahead and get started here because like I said, we have quite a few titles to go through. I'm going to try to go through these as fast as I can. First one I want to go over with you guys today. This is a new line. Um, it looks like it's a, it's a side company for Wild Eye Releasing, which I don't think I have any Wild Eye Releasing um, titles in my collection. But it's not every day you get to start buying from a brand new label, starting off with spine number one. Um, everybody here knows what a damn nut I am for spine numbers. So um, I decided to grab the first couple ones to see if I enjoy them. Um, these seem like movies that I really would um, have a fun time with. But then again, I haven't had a chance to watch any of these yet. I did grab the first three in the line. And this is going to be a company called Visual Vengeance. And the first title is Bloody Muscle Bodybuilder in Hell. What a title. And this movie is basically known as the Chinese version of um, Evil Dead. It's like a, Evil Dead, a Chinese Evil Dead knockoff. There's a shot of the back of it there. Um, I did watch the trailer. It looks like crazy fun. I think I'm gonna have a good time with this one. I have not had a chance to watch it yet, so I can't, I can't give you guys any details on it as far as that goes. But um, these releases are a lot of fun. Let me take, show you what you get on the inside here. I'll just give you a little flash of it there. But one thing they give you here, um, they give you this, this fake video card, which is kind of, kind of a cool little touch. Um, it says, um, rent 10, buy, um, get one free. So that's kind of cool. And you also get these, um, these stickers there if you can see that whatever it's just a bunch of stickers you used to see on videos back in the store back in the day um it says a monster hit unrated super eight shot on video yada yada so that's kind of cool and you also get just like a little pamphlet here so just a little information about just a little information about the movie and you get these little posters that are just you know nice to have not very big at all which is a shot of the artwork there i am kind of liking the fact that they throw in some extras for these releases um you know as a collector it's always fun to get stuff like that so um i do hope that that's something they do continue this one here you do get reverse artwork there's the i'm assuming that's the new artwork there and that must be the original so i am a bigger fan of the new artwork but i'll go ahead and, and flip this around since we have that artwork on the slip cover but, you know, the old video card, you know, anybody that remembers the old video store days, it's kind of a nice touch. But that is, um, that is spine number, it says VV01, I guess Visual Vengeance 01. That is the first in the line. Now, number two in the line here is another, I watched the trailer before I started this video, just, bat, just absolutely batshit crazy. And that is the Necrophiles. And, um, yeah, this movie here looks absolutely nuts, whatever, I, um, it came out in 1997. I'll just read the premise of this one here. It says, A cannibal rapist rises from the grave as a flesh-eating zombie maniac. Um, two Seattle cops, a satanic cult, and a flying demon fetus try to stop the lust-crazed ghoul before he can kill again. Like I said, I watched this trailer. Do yourself a favor. Go out and watch the trailer before you buy this. It ain't going to be for everybody, that's for sure. Um, there's the inside artwork there. And there's the back. And I tell you, it's, it's, the trailer's... It's one of those so bad it's good things is what I'm hoping. The baby they show in the trailer is an actual doll. You can tell it's just a doll that's on a string that's kind of flying around chasing people. It looks absolutely batshit crazy. And something else about this one here is this one comes with a condom. Yes, a condom. And it says the necrophiles on the condom there. It does say on the back, this product is for entertainment purposes only, not for human use. So I'm assuming it's not going to not gonna do much, whatever, just for looks. But, um... Anyway, there's some more stickers. You get a, looks like just a little advertisement. And you do get another poster here. It's just a, a poster of the artwork there. And this also has reverse artwork. I am liking the fact they do reverse artwork on these. 
So that's all. That's a nice touch. You know, these movies, I'm sure, are not going to be nothing great. But I do think they will be a good time. Um, you know, horror movies like this, it's kind of a fine line. Sometimes they're so bad they're good. Sometimes they're so bad they're just freaking bad. And um, I figured I would go ahead and buy these first couple ones in the line, see what I think about them. If it's something that I just absolutely am not into or don't enjoy, then I probably won't buy any more of them. But, um, yeah. But that is the that is the Necro Files, guys. And that is um, VV02. Yeah, guys, this next one here just has a crazy-ass title, and that is the L.A. AIDS Jabber. And so you see a picture there of a, of a needle filled with blood, I'm assuming infected with AIDS. And, yeah, this movie here looks absolutely ridiculous. Um, it says here, it says, A guy who has been diagnosed with AIDS decides to get his revenge on the world by attacking people with hypodermic needles filled with his blood. You know, um, this movie came out in 1994. And um, I did not watch the trailer on this one yet. But, um, again, you get these these stickers, which, you know, I'm not, probably not going to do much with that, but it's still kind of cool to have. And you just get another little information pamphlet. No condoms in this one, guys. No needles or anything like that. At least not in mine. I heard some people were getting needles with this. Maybe there's a deluxe edition of this. I don't know. Um, anyway, there's the back side there. So I'm going to flip that around. I actually don't mind that other artwork. But that is the... Um, now, it looks like the original title was just just Jabber. But I'm assuming they decided to spice it up a little bit and call it the L.A. AIDS Jabber. So, crazy name for a title, guys. Uh, crazy premise, but... So, that is the first um, first three releases from Visual Vengeance. And um, I know I have the... I want to say part four is Suburban Sasquatch, I think it is. I have that one pre-ordered. And, and somebody told me last night they already have seven titles announced. So, um... I don't know what the other titles are past four, but um, I do have part four coming in. I'll show that in my next collection update. So guys, I do have some here that have been out for a while and I just have not had a chance to show them yet. So these next few ones, guys, I'm gonna go through kind of quick because I'm sure you guys have seen these multiple times. But um, I'll go and show this one here, guys. I've had this one for a couple weeks and that is the new release of, of um, Flatliners from Aero Video. Now this is an absolutely fantastic release. I watched this the day I got it in. I love that old artwork. Um, the transfer on this looks absolutely fantastic. Um, I, I can't praise this movie enough. I'm a big fan of this movie. I think it really holds up well. It really benefits from 4K. Um, I think it's just an absolutely fantastic release. If, um, if you're a, even a, a slot fan of this movie, I do think that you are to, you are to pick up this release. Um, it's one of my favorites from Arrow this year. And you, know, you do get the... Um, the new commission artwork there and you get the original poster which i love that poster i might actually have to grab that poster hang up in my movie room here yeah this movie was a lot of fun guys back in the day um i remember seeing this in theaters when it came out i'm a really big fan of it guys so anyway that's um that's flatliners all right next up is another movie i'm sure you guys seen unboxed a thousand times and this is another new release by arrow and that is hell high really love that artwork guys now, I am, my plan is to try to watch this tonight. I have not watched it yet. But um, I've heard good and bad. But I heard it's a pretty, pretty decent movie. But the movie came out in 1989. It says, A teacher still haunted by the death of two teens that she accidentally caused as a young girl goes berserk when four teens start harassing her and then attack her in her home. So I, I don't think I've ever seen this before. Now, I'll show you the, um, the new artwork there, which is a big improvement on the old. This is what, I, this is what the old artwork looks like and it's pretty bad. So like I said, the new artwork is a huge improvement over the old. Big fan of that. And I'll show you what you get on the inside here. You know, air, air video always is just pure class. So there's your um, there's your disc art, and you get a booklet on the inside it looks like. Let's see what all we got here. Yeah, you got a pretty, pretty nice booklet. You know, you got some stuff about the movie. You get like a little advertisement card. That's the movie I still got to grab, Edge of Sanity. I actually have that on a double pack from Screen Factory. So I wasn't sure if I was going to grab it from Arrow, but, um, yeah, I don't know. Still on the fence about that one. But, um, yeah, guys, you see on the back there, you get an absolute ton of special features. Excited to watch this and go through all those features. Always a good time. Love Arrow Video. They do some great stuff. All right. I know most people have already showed this one off, guys. I've had it sitting there on my desk for a while trying to get this collection update, trying to get enough time to do this collection update. But um, this is going to be the one that I got from um, from Synapse Films, and that is Tenebrae. Dario Argento. I hear this is one of his better movies. Um, I am excited to check this one out. Pop Knock approved. And 
yeah, they um Synapse band, I'll tell you what they put out is absolutely quality, guys. Absolute quality. Um here's the, the book you get. Really thick booklet. Gotta be careful what I show there. And, you know, you always get the advertisement with all their other releases. And you know, with um make sure these are safe. But anyway, you got some lobby cards, stuff like that. So, um always a good time, guys. And you get three discs in here. It looks like you get the um the 4K of Tenebrae, you get the Blu-ray of Tenebrae, and you get another one called Unsane. It's another 4K disc, and it looks like it says um the Unsane version, limited edition exclusive. So I do believe that that is just another cut of the movie. Um, please correct me down below if I'm wrong. So yeah, you, you get three discs in here. So never seen this movie. I've heard a lot of good things about it. I'm very excited to check it out. You know, it's on my list, guys. I'm just trying to find the time to get caught up on all these damn releases I've been picking up. And you get a really nice poster here. I will try to get that out so y'all can see it. There is one side. And, and there is the other. So, yeah, I'm a big fan of Synapse, guys. They always do quality. So, um, I can't recommend them enough. If, um, if you guys have never bought anything from Synapse, like I said, don't. Don't sleep on them, guys. They're, they're a good company. They really are. All right, guys, this next one, also another one I've had for a few weeks now. I'm finally getting around to show it in the video. Um, that is another Blue Underground 4K release. Um, God told me to. Again, I've already showed this on some live streams, but um, I, have, I don't think I've officially showed this in a, in a collection update video. But um, I have all these 4K um, Blue Underground releases. They're absolutely fantastic. And this is a movie that I know very little about, but I've heard nothing but good things about this film. Um, it came out in 1976. It says a New York detective investigates a series of murders committed by random New Yorkers who claim that God told them to. Um, it was directed by Larry Cohen. And yeah, I don't really recognize anybody in the cast, guys. Just kind of just kind of going through it. I, actually, I do here. I'm Richard Lynch. Uh, I recognize him from a few things. But um, yeah, like I said, heard nothing but good things about this. There's the inside artwork. That's the original artwork, I'm guessing, there. There's a shot of the back. Um, pretty good amount of features on here. Everybody knows, I mean, they're, they're known for their scans. They got some of the best scans in the business. There's your two discs there. Um, you get, it's like you get the, um, the Blu-ray version and the 4K of the movie. It does have a Dolby Atmos track. That is good. Um, yeah, guys, I'm excited to check this one out. I know very little about it, but it has been recommended by many. So, okay, guys, this next one is one I've had for a couple weeks also. I'm just getting around to showing it in a collection update again. Um, this is one from that was released by um, Unearth Films. This is their Unearth. This is part of their Unearth Classics line. Um, it looks like spine number eight, and it's a movie called Doctor Lamb. Now this is a movie from 1992. It says an abnormal taxi driver lusts for blood every rainy night, and several young women are killed as a result. Yeah, but this is a Hong Kong release, guys, and um, I've heard this is supposed to be a lot of fun. I haven't seen it. I know my buddy Brad recommended this one here. Um, so here's what you get on the inside. No reversible on this, it looks like. But um, it looks like you get, what is this here? It looks like a booklet of something, like a little pamphlet. Just, you know, just some basic information. And other than that, you know, guys, that's it. You just that in the disc. So, you know, pretty, pretty basic release. But um, I usually enjoy movies like this. I probably should have showed these here when I showed Hell High and Flatliners. But you know, guys, it's what it is. I got three, three more titles from Arrow here that I picked up. Um, this is an older release from Arrow that I finally got. Um, I, I think this is part of one of their box sets, but I'm not 100% sure on that. But that is a movie called Torso. And you know, I just got just the older release with no slipcover or anything like that. But um, I did watch this. I thought this was a really good movie. I, I did really enjoy it. A lot of people call this one of the best Jalo films out there. I know my buddy Dirk is a big fan of this. He, he really recommended it, and I had a great time with it. This was a real fun movie. So um, I'll show you all the, the front and the back here. That is the new artwork there. Big fan of that. And there's the old artwork. So um, yeah, guys, if you haven't seen this movie, I do recommend it. If you're um, if you want to get into Giallo films, I think this would be a good place to start. To kind of show you, you know what what it's all about. But you know, you get just a little card inside, advertising some of their stuff, and you do get um, quite a few special features on this. There's the paragraph of that. That was a fun time, guys. All right, I was real excited to grab this. This is one of the collector's editions from Arrow that I've been wanting. It's been on my list for a while, and I'm, I was glad to finally grab this. I got this off of um. I got this off of eBay, and that is the movie Society. And this is one of their limited edition sets. Now this is an earlier limited edition from from um from Arrow, so you don't get the hard box with this, which I was kind of bummed out about. 
you know it's a little more a little more flimsy but it's still it's still a really nice looking release and i hear this movie's absolutely crazy as hell um there's the the booklet really nice booklet guys and actually this is actually a yeah this is actually a comic book of the movie and i was told to make sure i watch the movie before i look at this too much but there is a comic book that comes with this and i'll show you what the inside looks like it's like a digi pack so i can open this up without it going everywhere so that's the inside there really cool looking release like i, I just wish that outside box was one of the, the hard boxes like we're used to getting now and on the inside it looks like we have a another booklet here and we have a advertising card and it looks like just another advertising card with a lot of their titles on it that's what you get on the inside there i mean i got this on ebay of course you know it's been out of print for quite a while so i paid a little more for it but it was still really reasonable um you know, this is one that's kind of been on my radar for a while but i've been holding out until i can find it for a good price but i was really glad to get this for the price i got it for but i'm glad to have it i can check that off the list now i am trying to get all these arrow um limited edition sets and i still got quite a few still to grab but that is one i'm excited to have all right now here is another box set from um arrow video this has been on my list for a while and um i grabbed this during the arrow uk sale and got this for a really good price and this is the this is the house box set and see on this you get um you get house house two house three and house four really nice set it's the hard box individual cases i'll go through and show y'all each one real quick absolutely love this first movie i grew up watching this watched it a thousand times really fun time shitload of special features on the back guys there's your inside and your reversible artwork there's the classic poster right there that is my favorite i'm gonna have to flip that around right now because that is that is absolutely nostalgic as hell that's what i remember from the video stores back in the day so yeah big fan of that guys all right moving on to number two here there's the artwork for number two there's the back again each one of these have the paragraph special features there's your your disc art and the classic artwork for number two so that's a lot of fun all right move on to number three here now i've seen number three but it has been a while i don't remember much about number three i've seen one or two i've seen one a ton i've seen number two quite a bit and i want to say i've seen three maybe once or twice I do remember that artwork there. I like the new artwork, but I tell you, I'm a fan of the old artwork. I really am. So I'm turning these around as we go. But, um, and I'll show y'all number four here. And I don't think I've ever seen number four. I'm pretty sure it looks like the original guy from part one is in this one. I see him on the, on the, on the cover here. It's house four, the repossession. So, um, this should be a pretty fun time. I hope I haven't heard a whole lot about part four, good or bad, but, um, there's the inside work there yeah I'm, I'm i know for sure i've never seen this one here guys this will be a first time watch so um yeah i'm excited guys i'm, I'm just gonna have a marathon and watch all four of these bitches um i think it's gonna be a fun time this is um a really cool box set the only thing that i the only other big box set from area i really have on my list right now is um to try to get that that um, hellraiser crimson set and everybody that collects this stuff knows that thing's way out of print and it goes for kind of crazy money so um that's why i haven't grabbed that one yet but that's that's everything else i got from arrow guys um we're gonna go ahead and, and go through some of this other random stuff i have here um this is another one you've seen a gazillion people unbox this thing here um everybody's done a great job showing what this thing looks like so i'm just going to show you real fast i got my release with the witch from second sight and let me tell you something about this movie here i would only seen this movie one time i watched it i don't know years ago when it came out and i watched it late at night you know the dialogue in this movie the movie is based in the 1700s so the dialogue is kind of hard to follow it didn't have the subtitles on i was half asleep when i started it and anybody that watches this movie knows you really have to pay attention to what's going on you gotta you know, turn on the subtitles read the at least i do you gotta turn on the subtitles you know to really follow the story of what's going on so i watched this twice in the last week i watched it by myself and then i watched it again with my son and i'm going to tell you right now that this movie here is absolutely fantastic it jumped way up on my list of my favorite horror movies um i don't know the movie just resonated with me i thought it was a, it was very well done the damn goat black phillip creeped the shit out of me <laughs> and um yeah it, it was a good time guys i'm really surprised that i hadn't really watched this movie before to the point where it became one of my favorites 
because it's one that I just really enjoy, guys. I'm just, just a big fan of it. I'll go ahead and show you guys the inside. I know you guys have seen this unboxed a million times, but that's what you get on the inside. You get a really nice little digi pack with both discs, and you get some lobby cards. And do this book, I mean, this, ain't, this is a, a damn novel. I think like my buddy Brad said, this is a, a book release that comes with a movie. So that is just a really nice book there. You guys are into that. I did go through all the special features after I watched the movie. And I um, watched all the interviews, watched everything. And um, I tell you what, the special features on this disc are really nice. If you're a fan of this movie, you absolutely got to get this set. Um, I thought this is probably the best release we're going to ever get for this movie here. Um, really glad to have this. Big fan of this. And I tell you, Second Sight have been just killing it. Absolutely killing it. Um, every, everything I got from Second Sight, I, I have no, no complaints. So next up, I got a few titles from Shout Select I'm going to go over. So I got this one here. This is um, spine number 134. And that is Last Days in the Desert um, with Ian McGregor. Never seen this movie, but every time I show this to somebody, they always say, oh, that's a pretty good movie, actually. Um, I want to say that Ian McGregor is playing Jesus Christ in this. I don't know that much about it. There's the inside there. And you get no reversible artwork, but you do get a shot there from the film. So I am interested to check this out. I do. I am a real big fan of Ian McGregor, so I do believe that um, this, this is going to be one I'm going to enjoy. So again, that's spine number 134, uh, Last Day of the Desert. Last Day in the Desert, sorry. All right, this one here, another one I know nothing about. Um, I do like Ben Kingsley. It's a movie called Learning to Drive, spine number 135 in the shot select line. Front and the back there. So there's the inside work there. And again, I know nothing about this movie here. This movie came out in 2014. It says, it says, as her marriage dissolves, a Manhattan rider takes driving lessons from an instructor with his own marriage troubles. In each other's company, they find the courage to get back on the road and the strength to take the wheel. It stars Patricia Clarkson, Ben Kingsley, and Grace Gummer. So, um, but yeah. Yeah, learning to drive. Maybe it's a fun time. I don't know nothing about it. All right. Now, this next movie here is one that I am super excited about. Yes, I do already own this movie. Um, I know the debate of um, people, whether you're going to upgrade or not. But um, if I had this from Screen Factory or, or Shout Select, if I had this from any other company, if I had the Blu-ray, I would definitely upgrade it to a 4K. Grew up loving this movie. Um, this movie is part of my childhood. And that is the 4K release of Red Dawn. And one thing that I'm super excited about, you know, I have all these Shout Selects. One thing I'm super excited about is they kept spine number 13. All I have to do is take down that Blu-ray, throw it the 4K, spine numbers still line up, OCD's happy. So, <laughs> anyway guys, this movie's going to be fantastic in 4K. I'm just absolutely stoked to check this out. So, one thing that I had not had a chance to look yet is if they added any more special features on this. I'm going to look here in just a moment. But there's the disc on the inside. You get, you get no reversible artwork on this, which kind of sucks. Well, this one here says you get a new 4K scan from the original camera negative. A look back at Red Dawn interviews with actors Doug Toby, casting director Jane Jenkins. Red Dawn Rising featurette, training for World War III. Yeah, I do believe these, these are the same features, guys. I don't think any of these are going to be new features. That kind of blows a little bit. Um, but anyway, guys, super glad to have this on 4K. And like I said, I know it sucks that the, that, um, the Shop Factory is updating so much, ship, so much of their shit to 4K. A lot of people, A lot of people are bitching about it. But guys, everybody's doing it. Everybody's everything's getting a 4K release. You know, you don't have to buy them. You know, now me, I am choosing to buy them, especially the movies, you know, like this that I absolutely love. Now, I did buy this with one of these damn pen, these um, enamel pen sets. Um, I ended up just getting the bundle with this and the poster. I'm not going to open these enamel pens. I have no interest in these whatsoever. My goal is is to hang on to these until they go out of, until they go out of stock. Um, once they go out of stock, go out of print, whatever. Um, my plan is to sell these to recoup what I spent on the whole package. So that's my plan. And um, if anybody's interested in these, you know, down the road, just hit me up. They're going to be sitting safely on the shelf. They will not be opened. Because I have no interest in a damn enamel pen. My, my entire long game for getting these is hopefully to sell them to recoup my losses for having to upgrade. But yeah, we'll, we'll see if it works. It might bite me in the ass. All right, moving on, guys. Now this here is something my buddy Dirk told me about. This was this was on sale on Amazon, really really cheap, and I grew up loving these movies here. I did already own a set from this franchise, but this is um this was definitely an upgrade that I wanted to make. Whatever this has got a lot more features on it, a lot different a lot of different cuts of the film that I didn't have on the other set, 
and it's an absolute beautiful set. I am just kind of pissed off that it did come kind of banged up from Amazon, but it ain't no big deal. Um, that is the Superman, the Superman motion picture uh, anthology, 1978 to 2006. I'll just give you a once around the box here. Let me do this. You guys can see it. Maybe you want to look at that. There's the back. You can see the corners are pretty banged up. But it's not a big deal, guys. This was a very inexpensive set. And um, the S on Superman is kind of raised there. I don't know if you guys can make that out or not, but it's kind of indented. So I guess you can see it when I take off the lid, dumbass. So anyway, so that's kind of cool. It's, it's put together really well. It's just you can tell it's kind of cheaply made. Um, there's the inside. It's like a digipack um, inside. Open it up once. And open it up again. And there's all the discs you get for the movie. I'm not going to take all those out, guys. Y'all can just kind of take a glance at that to give you an idea. And on the back, you know, nothing really that special. Just got the information about the films. But I'm really glad to have this. Um, I, I mean, obviously, the later Superman movies ain't that great. But um, Superman 1 and 2, this also has the Donner cut on it, I believe. But on um, the yeah, Superman 1 and 2, I mean, I was like an elementary school whenever they came out. And just absolutely loved them. I watched them a million times over the years. And I feel like this is a really nice set to have for these films. And I figure until one better comes out, this will hold me over. But um, yeah, that's the um, that's the Superman anthology. Now um, I have completed my H24 line. I've got all the H24 films um, with slipcovers. Um, I did have to get a few slipcovers made, but I'm real excited to have that. I'm probably gonna do a video down the road going through the entire H24 line. Now there's a handful, and this is aggravating as hell. But there's a handful of H24s that are digital only. They're like um, exclusive to Apple Plus, um, Apple TV Plus, exclusive to, I think, Amazon. Um, I want to say um, HBO's got one that's exclusive. There's like six. They're exclusive. They're digital only. Don't have a physical release. And there's about five or six that are, that are DVD only. The, one, the ones that are on DVD only, I haven't picked those up yet. I will eventually. I just haven't grabbed those. There's a lot of great titles. I love the A24 line. A lot I've already seen. There's going to be a lot that I have not seen. I know very little about. But for the most part, what I've watched from H24, I've been a fan of. Now, anyway, this is the latest. This is the latest release from H24, and I heard from my buddy Brian Goes Blue that this is an absolute crazy ass movie. And anytime somebody mentions this movie that has seen it, the first thing they say is it's just a crazy ass movie. So I'm I'm pretty excited about checking it out. And it's a movie called Men. I know very little about this. But, um, it came out um, in 2022, recent release. And it says, a young woman goes on a solo vacation to the English countryside following the death of her ex-husband. It was directed by Alice Garland and it stars Jessica Butley, uh, Rory Kinnear. And yeah, I don't really recognize anybody else in the cast, guys. But uh, you know, go out and watch the trailer. Um, just kind of form your own opinion, see if it's something you might be interested in. But I'm glad to own this. Excited to check it out. I will show you guys the inside. And there's the back. And I don't think, yeah, you don't get reversible with H24s for the most part, I believe. There's the inside disc art. Nothing too fancy, guys. But um, yeah, these H24s, they're pretty inexpensive to collect. And yeah, I'm real glad to have them. I'm a big fan of most of them, the ones that I've seen. So that is Men from H24. Now, uh, me and a buddy of mine, um, we went to go see um, Nope in theaters. I wasn't the biggest fan of Nope. It's definitely a movie I feel like you need to watch more than once, or at least I feel like I do. And it's one I'm, I'm going to check out again. I, I feel like I will like it more on a second watch. I was a real big fan of Get Out when it came out. When Us came out, which is what, I'm, what I have here, I have the Us still book. When this movie came out, I seen it in theaters. I did, a, I did enjoy it, but I never bought it. I never owned it. I've never seen it again but the one time in theaters. So I found this on eBay really inexpensive. This is the Best Buy. Let me take off this J card here. But um, that is the, um, the 4K still book of Us. And you know, I wanted to kind of check this out again. Yeah, that, that's not a scratch guy. That's glue, glue from the sticker. I got to get off. But um, anyway, that's um, really nice looking still book. There's the inside. You get the Blu-ray and the 4K. It looks like. And I'll take out these discs. You guys can see the inside, inside artwork. So there's a full shot of the back. So yeah, it's pretty basic, but um, I think it works. That is the 4K Steelbook of Us. Glad to have that one. This next was the new release, just came out this past week, and that is the 4K Steelbook for Heat. Huge fan of this movie. I was very excited about this coming out on 4K. Um, I thought they did a good job with the, with the Steelbook. It's it's definitely just kind of plain, but I think it works for what the movie is. There's the shot of the back there, and I have heard a few people say that this is not the best transfer. 
you know, I don't worry about transfers too much, whatever. I think for the most part, you know, they look okay. Um, I don't really get into the, oh, this transfer is great, this transfer is not great. You know, I feel like the movie's going to look fantastic. So I'm not really the guy to ask when it comes to transfers. Um, like, guys, guys, I watch a million movies on VHS. <laughs> Anything that they have out on 4K for the most part looks good to me. But um, anyway, that is the movie Heat there. If you guys haven't seen this movie, it's a, it's a really good heist movie. It's a, I mean, you got Al Pacino and you got Robert De Niro in the same film. I mean, come on, seven days a week, guys. I'm gonna I'm gonna be signing up for that. So that is the movie Heat. Glad to have it. I was excited to um to find that finally came in. I pre-ordered that day one. So these next three are gonna be some some recent pickups from Keanu Lorber. I love Keanu Lorber. They got some great stuff also, and um I'm super excited to um to add a few more titles to my my collection. This one here is a um, an older title. I'm a, I'm a big Vince Vaughn fan, a really big Joaquin Phoenix fan. And this is a movie I've seen a long time ago, but it's been years and years. And I've seen the Kino um, had this out, so I decided to grab it. And it's a movie called Clay Pigeons. So let me guys, let me, you guys make sure to let me know down below if y'all have seen this or not. Um, it's a movie that I just, I remember having a great time with back in the day. I used to watch it, I want to say on HBO or Showtime. Don't think I've ever owned it on physical media. So, um glad to finally have this and you get no special features with this you get an audio commentary with a director and a theatrical trailer yeah guys that is clay pigeons so that'll be a that's gonna be a fun revisit there all right guys this next one here is one that i'm really excited to revisit i haven't seen this movie in years and years this is a new release from kino lorber and that is a movie called eternal sunshine of the spotless mind and i know this movie's got a, a really huge following i'm a big jim carrey fan and um, it's got a great cast guys jim carrey kate winslet Kristen dunce mark ruffalo elijah wood Tom Wilkinson. So it's got a great cast, guys. And I don't remember a whole lot about it. I know what the movie's about. I do remember enjoying the movie, but um, I definitely feel like it's a movie I need to revisit. And, um, you know, it seemed like the, the right time to do it, get, get a nice 4K release. And Kino's been just killing it this year on the 4Ks. really have. So I've been trying to pick them up as much as I could. So I'm glad to have this one here. All right, this next one I picked up from um, Kino Lorber is a, um, is a Stanley Kubrick classic. And this is from 1955. It's a movie called Killer's Kiss. Really nice artwork there, guys. Never seen this. Um, this is one of the Kubrick films I have not seen. So you know, I'm a big Kubrick fan. I think this is going to be a fun watch. And again, guys, the perfect time to check it out is when it has a 4K release, right? So these black and whites look really good in 4K. What I've, what I've seen anyway. You know, really no reason to show you guys the inside of these guys. They all look the same. But um, excited to have this one. Excited to have this with the slip. These Kino slips are always really nice. So that is Killer's Kiss. All right, guys, this last stack of movies I'm going to show you guys all come from Umbrella Films. And if I'm not mistaken, Umbrella is an Australian company. And um, I do have a few other titles from Umbrella, but I wanted to grab some more. They've been putting out some really nice stuff. they got some individual lines they're putting out under their Umbrella label. And I wanted to grab a few of those and, um, and just kind of up my Umbrella game a little bit. Um, so I got uh, three... So I got six titles to show you from Umbrella. And this first one here is, a, is one that I'm a fan of. Uh, it's got Michael J. Fox and Sean Penn. It's a really great war movie, a very heavy war, a very heavy war movie. And it's a movie called Casualties of War. And if you guys are, are Michael J. Fox fan, if you guys have never seen this, um, this is a really, really heavy movie for, um, for Michael J. Fox. It's something you don't see him in very often. I don't think I've seen him do a role like this ever. Um, but yeah, him and Sean Penn, they play well off each other. Sean Penn, he's um, he's kind of the you know the bad guy, the guy you kind of hate in this movie. But um, yeah, this is a really good movie for Sean Penn and Michael J. Fox. They both just kind of knock it out of the park. I, I'm a huge fan of this movie, guys. So if you guys like war movies, if you guys like you know pretty heavy, um, pretty heavy plots, I would definitely recommend checking this out. So that's what I'm excited to have. Um, I have owned that movie before, but I want to say it was on VHS last time I had it. All right, now this next one here is from their Beyond um, Beyond Genre line. This is volume number 19, and it's a movie called Hobo with a Shotgun. With Rutger Hauer, front and back. And I tell you what, these um these spines and slip covers. Sorry, these spines and slip covers look absolutely fantastic. I mean, they're really just knocking it out of the park with these um these releases. You get the nice nice thicker cases the way you get with the arrow. Show you the front. Really nice artwork there in the back. Really nice disc art, and you get a nice shot from the film there. So that is Hobo with a shotgun from their um Beyond Genre line. So yeah. Next up here, we have another one from the um, Beyond Genre line. 
And this is a movie called The Cook, The Thief, His Wife, and Her Lover. Guys, it's a crazy ass title. I don't know shit about it. But this is um this is spine number or this is volume number nine. They're calling it volume. This is volume number nine. But this is a movie from nineteen eighty nine. It says at La Hollandaise Gourmet Restaurant, every night is filled with opulence, decadence, and gluttony. But when the cook, a thief, his wife, and her lover all come together, they unleash a shocking torrent of sex, food, murder, and revenge. It looks like this movie was released in the Netherlands, UK, and France. It's the country of origin. I'll try to see what this movie if this was a U.S. release or if it was, if it was an overseas release. And it looks like it was originally done in the Netherlands, United Kingdom, and France. Yeah, I don't know anything about it, guys. But I know that um, I've, of the few people that, um, that knew this came out were pretty excited about grabbing it that I spoke with. So I went ahead and got it, guys. Again, that's volume number nine from the Beyond Genre um, line with Umbrella. So these next two are from another line that um, Umbrella has put out. And this is the Ozploitation Classics. And these are going to be Australian genre films. And this is a movie called Long Weekend. Now I grabbed this one first because this is a movie I have heard of before. Um, I've heard some good things about it. I've never seen it. It's one that I have been wanting to see. And when I seen this one here was in this line, I decided to go ahead and grab it first, whatever, because it was one that was been on my list to grab. So I, I am glad to I am glad to have this one here. So this one here came out in 1978. It says when a suburban couple go camping for a weekend at a remote beach, they discover that nature isn't in an accommodating mood. And it was directed by Colin um, Eggleston. I'm saying that. Hopefully, I'm saying that right. And, um, you know, this is a 1978 movie from Australia. I know nobody in the cast, guys. But um, it looks like it's going to be a fun time. Like, I've heard some good things about this. I'll show you what the packaging looks like here. You know, there's the front and the back. Quite a few special features. And there's the inside. And on the inside, you do get a lot of lobby cards. You know, just um, different ones. Like, you know, get, get the idea. This one here, you do get two different discs here. The, ones, the first disc is going to be the Blu-ray of the film. And on the other disc, you're going to get the actual original soundtrack from the film. So I know there's a lot of people that do enjoy those soundtracks. I really don't listen to them that much, whatever, but I do appreciate having them. So um, that's always kind of cool. Yeah, like I said, guys, Umbrella's doing a really good job with these these lines they're putting out. All right, the other one I have in the Osploitation Classics is one I don't I know nothing about. It was just a kind of a random buy, a blind a blind buy. And by the way, Long Weekend is spine number twelve in that line. And this one here is going to be spine number 10. And that is a movie called The Death Cheaters. I haven't watched a trailer or anything on this, guys. This is a total blind buy. So hopefully this is going to be a good one. I grabbed all these from Orbit DVD. If you want to check these out, you can get them from Orbit DVD at a pretty reasonable price. On um, this one here, you get a nice booklet on the inside. Well, it looks like a, a cartoon of the, of the movie, it looks like. Or a cartoon of some kind. So maybe this was an actual, this is based on an Australian comic strip or something. I don't know. Really nice disc art there. And show you all a full shot of the inside artwork, and there's the information on the back there. So, um, good look release. I don't know anything about it, guys, but hopefully it's good. And if I enjoy both of these, like I'm hoping I'm going to, I may grab some more of these lines and you know, kind of check out a few other titles. Orbit DVD doesn't have all of them, they have most of them. You can also grab them from the Umbrella site, but you're going to pay a little more in shipping, obviously. Now, they have another line out, and this one here is called Sensual Cinema, and that's cinema with an S-I-N-E-M-A. And this is a movie I've seen back in the day, guys. Everybody knows this movie. Um, it's a Paul Verhoeven movie. Um, it gets a bad rap, but it's a fun time, guys. It's a movie called Showgirls, and this is one of those movies that's just, it's, it's actually famous for how bad the acting is. I mean, Elizabeth Berkley, she is not a good actress at all. I'm really, really not. But guys, this, it, she's kind of famous for this movie for it being so bad that it's so bad that it's good kind of thing. I can't show you guys the inside artwork on this because, well, I'll kind of cover that up there, give you an idea. But, um, yeah, this movie here, guys, I mean, it's a fun time. It's always been, you know, one of those movies that I do enjoy, but, you know, you just need to go in knowing what you're getting. I am a big fan of Paul Verhoeven, so I wanted to grab it. And plus, these releases look great with the pink slips. And this is this is number one in the line. They got, I think, hell, I don't know how many they have out now. They have seven or eight, I guess. So, but yeah, this is another line from my umbrella that I decided to grab a title and just see how it looks. Um, you, get, you get quite a few special features on this one here, not a whole lot. Um, anyway, guys, if you're a fan of Showgirls, I thought this is probably the best release you can get of it right now. So, yeah, guys, that's going to do it. That's everything that I got um, in the last couple weeks, maybe probably the last three weeks. So, um, I'm glad to be caught up. I got some pre-orders going to be coming in soon. I got some other releases from Amazon and other places that should be coming in the next um, few weeks. 
So look for another collection update really soon. Um, again, guys, um, we started our, our we started our live stream series where we're going through our favorite movies from 1970 to 2020, like I mentioned earlier. We just finished episode two last night, and that's going from 2011 to 2015. Um, that's a really good time, guys. I'm going to put the link to episode one and two down below. But we're hoping to do the next episode right around, give or take, the 27th of August. We're trying to do them every other Saturday. So be sure to tune in for that, guys. Again, look for the links down below. If you haven't watched them, please check them out. They're a fun time. We're having a great time doing these doing these live streams. And um, the, as we get further, or if, as we get closer to 1970, the more excited I get because I'm an 80s kid. And I'm really excited to get down to the early, 90, the early 90s, the 80s, and the late 70s. That's going to be my sweet spot that I'm really excited about. It's going to be really fun going through those years and picking out our five, um, our five favorite movies from each section. But guys, thank you all so much for watching the video. I'm going to get on out of here. Um, I'll be back real soon with some more videos. Um, you guys take care. Have a great week. And I'll see you all soon in the next video.